G'day, happy Saturday to you. Hope you're having a good day. I wanted to share this thought with you, and it's about our expectations. And when our expectations don't align with the outcomes that we're chasing, right? And when that happens, when things don't go as planned, often I'll feel really poorly, right? I'll have this flood of emotions and it will make me feel icky. Uh, and it could be a range of different negative emotions, I suppose, that we feel when things don't go according to plan. Now that might be a project that you've been working on for ages and it just didn't get off the ground, didn't happen. So be it. But you feel bad, right? Could be a relationship breakup that you've been with for years. It could have been a, a relationship that's just started that ended pretty quickly. It could be a business deal that's gone south. It could be a number of things. Every day we have these expectations of what we're trying to achieve and what we're trying to do. And when they don't turn out as planned, we get that flood of emotions and it makes us feel poorly, right? Now it could be as simple as you know making dinner. You plan to make this beautiful dinner for your family and you stuff it up and you feel bad about it, you know? Um, I guess the smaller things, the things that have less investment cost, don't make us feel as bad. And I, I relate this to people playing lotto, right? And I was thinking about this. I believe that if you're, I don't play lotto, but if you do play lotto, great. Uh, but I believe that most people that play a lot, I don't have this expectation to win. And because of that, I believe they don't have this attachment to this outcome that they're going to be a millionaire. Of course, they'd probably like to win the lot, and that's why they buy the ticket. But the investment cost is low as well. It might cost three bucks, I don't know, whatever it costs to buy a lotto ticket. And they have this uh, detachment from the outcome because they don't have this expectation that they're going to win. And they're not really upset at Lotto night, whenever that is, Friday, Saturday night, um, if their numbers don't pop up, they're not getting upset and cranky and they'll buy the ticket again next time. That's the kind of mentality we need to have uh, for anything that we do, right? I think it's important not to have this expectation that you're not going to win. I think it's important to have a visual that things are going to be successful. You're going to have the achievements that you want to achieve. I think that strong, powerful visual really plays part in the process of doing what you want to do and achieving what you want to achieve. So I don't think having this mentality of, oh, I'm just not going to win. Um, I think you need to have that. And I think the investment is there as well. But what I think is important is not to have this attachment to that outcome. Because guess what? Things aren't always going to go according to plan. Actually, more often than not, things won't go according to plan. And the reason for that, I believe, fundamentally is because there are so many external factors external to your control that you can't do anything about. And usually, things will go south because they're not in your control. And I think when you have that failure, that upset, the thing that doesn't go as planned, remind yourself of that. In your process of reflecting on what's happened, how you're feeling about it, just remind yourself that there's so many things that are external to your control that are factors as to why this potentially didn't go the way you wanted it to go. I think the next thing is to understand what was in your control. What part of the process were you involved in? And having that moment to reflect on this allows you to then go, okay, cool, I've got some learnings here. Because there might be some steps in there that you could have done a little bit better. And I think by letting that feeling that we're feeling when we have a failure, uh, a project that didn't go to plan, by letting that feeling flow and meditating on it, we can have those learnings, yeah? What often happens when we have an upset, right? What do you often do, right? I know what I've done in the past and probably still do occasionally. You get angry, you take out your temper on something, you, you, you get on the booze, you eat some rubbish food, you stop doing the good things that you should be doing, like going to the gym. That's what happens in life when we don't achieve what we want to achieve, when our expectations and the outcomes don't align. But remember, don't attach yourself to the outcomes because I believe the outcomes will take care of themselves if you focus on the process. But I believe it's also important that things won't always work out and don't beat yourself up about it because resilience is key. I believe that when we are children, we go through this learning stage. Teenagers, we go through a further deepening learning stage of who we are and curiosity and figuring out the world. And then in our early 20s, we're driven, we're motivated, we're pumped, we're going forward. And that's when things start 
not working out as we plan, as we vision, because we're surrounded by all this media and this, this expectation of what things should look like. And when they don't work out like that, we fall back, we retreat, we give up, we become complacent, and we just say that, okay, we're happy with the back seat. And I believe this happens to a lot of people in life. And I think it's important to remember, well, that's okay if you're happy with that, but don't let that happen to you if it's important to you, right? Keep on moving forward because resilience is key. If you can get up again and again and again, you'll grow that strength. And when that thing doesn't work out as you would have liked it to work out, you're not going to be as hurt by it. So remember that. Take that time to really reflect on these, these losses that you've experienced and take those learnings out for it. And don't beat yourself up about it either because you want to bounce back. You want to keep going. There's going to be some lessons to learn in that. And I think if you can do that, you're going to have a win. You're going to live more freely, fully and happily. And that's what it's all about.